And a good morning to you. It is a Saturday morning in Jackson and West Tennessee, and we welcome you to Tricks of the Trade. The phone lines and the text line open this morning, 731-891-6161. We'll put you in the call-in board. The Victory Honda text line, 731-410-7560. And here's the West Tennessee's premier honeydew helper, John Allen. Good morning, good Jim. Good morning, sir. How are you? I'm doing pretty good. I hope That's you're good. doing well. Yeah, let's see. It's early, but I'm I'm making it. Hey, you know, got I'm enough s- got enough coffee in me. I'm up and, up and running. Yeah, yeah. Well, well, you know, I've had a couple of those this morning. I started out kind of early because I was working. Well, that last little list you got to make for Christmas. Yeah, I got mine in my pocket. Mm-hmm. Well, see, here's mine right here. There's- I got it right here, <laughs> and. Uh, and and the and the tragedy of this situation is Christmas done snuck up on me. It has, boy. I tell you, it it it, it was like never it's going to get here, and now it's all swooping down on us. Yeah. And I got to get started, and I hadn't. Well, you're usually the Christmas Eve shopper guy, you know. Well, I like that until some <laughs> people get particular, like they got to have some little particular something. Uh huh. But now I thought I was doing good this year because I had my list a few days ago, and and as I was out making a few calls in the community, I ran a, or, or was going by some of these stores. Yep. And I went into the mall. I was going to get one out there, and uh, get one of my gifts at the store in the mall. Yeah. So I said, okay, I got this. I know they got this size. I'm gonna get this for my little granddaughter. There you go. And the store's gone. The Stop. Grinch snatched it. Really? It's not there anymore. <laughs> you know, I haven't been in the mall proper, and I can't tell you how long. There are two stores that I frequent out there when I need something, and they both have outside interests, and I make use of them. I'm in, I'm out. Well, I'm in and out once a year normally, mm-hmm. but I was making an exception because I had to do a little call at one of the, that little hat store they got in out there. Yeah. But that little store with the initials A and E ain't there no more. Really? Well, I'll be. I, I did not, not I know did, that. I didn't know that either. Had wow. some something called barn something where you you get the smelly stuff. What what, you, what is that? White white barn? Got me, red man. barn? <laughs> I didn't know they had a barn in the mall. Well, they got one there now. They do. And, okay. and it's supposed to be a popular place because people were lined up around the corner going yeah. there. Well, I quit going to the mall when Victoria's Secret left. I didn't know it was gone either till I went through there. <laughs> so you couldn't get your little pink scanties, and these, you have to order them online. Don't be, don't be telling Santa secrets. <laughs> uh, <laughs> it's okay to be on the naughty list every uh, once in a while. <laughs> in, the, in the comfort of your own home. Who cares, uh, right? That's right. John Rawl is with us this morning, too. He makes it possible for us to be out there in the cyber world. We're on y'all.com on Facebook Live right now. You can see me pulling on my, my huh. chin there. And also on the News Talk West Tennessee, the uh, Facebook page there. And we'll be on the YouTube channel, the Y'all YouTube channel, a little bit later in the day once everything is uh, is done and uploaded. So join well, us anywhere you'd like. I'll tell you, I think I, I know where I want to start this morning. Okay. And I do this every uh, uh, week before Christmas. You know, that's only six days away. I know. I know. Scary. Yeah, but anyway, Uh-oh. what we got here? We, we've been uh, we've had Santa downtown this week, and yep. tonight is the last night and the last day today. So if you want to see Santa Claus, eleven to two today mm-hmm. or tonight six to eight. But you know we had a pretty steady stream last night, and I know that there are some people that. Um, are not going to be able to get down there in time. Right. Or maybe they can't get out. But if they're listening today, we have a phone line, we have a text line. Right. And now is your chance to call right. up and tell, I'm, I'm going to take a note and I'm going to deliver it to the big guy. Right. Tell us what you want for Christmas. Yeah, you'll see Santa after the after the festivities this evening because you got to get the key to the house back because he's headed north. He is, you know, and uh, you know it. Uh, the house is a little mobile. Uh, he got to give me the keys and I can put the wheels on and, <laughs> and 
you sometimes they don't slide would slide when you don't have snow That's so true. we had to roll that sucker only in the south would santa claus take up residence in a mobile home That's <laughs> I just hope a tornado don't come I through. Think, I think he overshot Arkansas is what happened. I really don't know. <laughs> we have a text already on the Victory Honda text line, and I know you would have gotten to this because we're about to have, we're about to warm up slightly for a couple of days, according to Eddie Holmes. Really? And then on Christmas Eve and Christmas Day, Eddie has actually committed the cardinal sin. No offense, Eddie. What's that? He said Christmas and snow. In the same sentence. I have heard that. Yeah. there And, and the guy on the BBJ last night, uh, Brian, said uh, it, the, the possibilities are better than we would consider normal, that we may get some snow flurries. I'll take a flurry. I'll take a blizzard. <laughs> Oh, well, yeah, okay, you blizzard. And not at Wendy's. No. Or where is it they come? Is that Sonic. where blizzard are? Sonic yeah. or is that Dairy Queen? I don't know. Anyway. Blizzard and Blast. I forget which is which. Well, it's ice cream. <laughs> it's, it's ice That's cream. all right. I'll have it Christmas. With M&M's back. in it if I have anything to do about That's it. That's right. Okay. Good morning, guys. That would be us. That's okay. us. Please have John remind homeowners to remove hoses and splitters on outside hydrants to prevent freezing and splitting of frost-free faucets. Thank you. It'll happen. It will and that, happen. And, and, and I get kidded sometimes about I say thing, things over and over, and the reason I do that is because y'all don't listen. <laughs> <laughs> you know, the texture is absolutely right about that because I've heard you say that many, many times, but he left out one little one little critical piece of that. What's that? And don't forget to put your little styrofoam covers on them. Now, that's just dumb. <laughs> <laughs> All right. <laughs> All right. So here we go. We're going to... My, one of my little Christmas gifts to you, yes. and, it, and it's the way of saving money. Okay, I like that. Is is go out there and undo your water hose. If you have one of those little splitters on the end of it, take it off. Mm -hmm. Because the idea is if you have a so-called frost-proof faucet, you want that water to drain out of the faucet so it doesn't freeze. Otherwise, get your pocketbook out, mm -hmm. and when you go to turn it on to wash the car, uh, this spring, you're going to have water in the house, so you're going to be out of plumbing fee, and uh, that won't be covered by your insurance company because uh, because it was you you were stupid for doing that, and they don't cover stupidity. <laughs> then you're going to have a high deductible on your insurance. You know these little hundred and two fifty or five hundred dollar deductibles, they don't exist anymore. Yeah, you're going to have three, four, five thousand dollar deductible. Then you're going to have your house tore up. Then you're going to have to take Mama out to eat because her kitchen's flooded because right. you left the hose on. And it just goes on and on. So do yourself a favor. Save yourself a lot of money. And undo your hose and your splitter. And if you feel the urge, if you want to put one of them little plastic things on there to keep it from freezing, you can. Styrofoam. Styrofoam. Yeah. Or styrofoam you, smart, so it knows how to keep it warm and cold. Oh, that yeah. it, it knows. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> or if you want to just get a, an old newspaper and wrap it up real good and put a bag over it uh, and you, a piece of baling wire. You're taking me back now. Uh, I'm telling you, <laughs> that'll do the trick just as well. Yep. yep. And uh, But, you know, they do have those little styrofoam dumfaches. Yes, they uh, do. Right at the entrance of Lowe's right now. I saw them the yeah, other day. I think day. they're about four bucks a piece. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So I got eight bucks tied up in mine. <laughs> <laughs> Tell you what, I got to take a loan out. I'm glad you don't have a third faucet. <laughs> so am I. I just wish they'd put one on the front and one on the back. That's but they right, didn't. man. That's the salary we make on this show, we can't afford it. That's true. Dude. That's true. I had to float a loan to get that done. I'm going to start the process off of what. I want for Christmas. Okay, let me remind everybody of the phone numbers one more time. 731-891-6161. That is a direct call-in number right to John's ear. And the Victory Honda text line, 731-410-7560. We need to hear from you. And we'll remind everybody, and we'll talk about these guys in depth a little later in the show. We are sponsored by two of our favorite people in the world, West 10 Fence Company and economy, siding, exactly and right. windows. And we'll, mm -hmm. we'll tell you a little bit more about what those people do. A little later down, on. Down the road a piece, yeah. Yeah. Okay, got two stories this morning. Okay. First one is I'm going to tell you what I want for Christmas. All right, I'm ready. I want some new stools for this cheap place up here. 
Surely, uh, surely you you haven't. You, you well, tell me after all these months, you're not used to that yet. No, Thank I feel you. like I'm I'm pivoting on a piece of rebar up here right now. <laughs> this is terrible, folks. Yeah, yeah. you know, with, with all the new equipment, maybe somewhere in the budget was four stools for our guest to sit upon when they come to be with us. Well, I'm going to hold my breath. I hope so. We're going to find out soon. But but that yeah. that would be good. Yes, but, you know, we yes, got to have some stools, so we I'm going to put a request into Santa Claus. Yeah, and, and, and Tim, you don't even have to put a bow on them. Just bring them down here. I'll even put them together. <laughs> some assembly required. It's that season, you know. It is indeed. Oh, All right, man. another little thing I'm going to tell you about, a little story, funny story happened yep. to me. I can't help it. This could happen to you. And it could happen to you. Mm-hmm. Now, last week... I went into great depth of telling you little essentials you got to have around the house. Yes. You know, we talked about ladders. We talked about uh, water cut-off keys, and screwdrivers, and an old-fashioned hammer. But I mentioned a pair of pliers. Yes. Now, that pair of pliers came in handy this week at my house. Now, if you're easily offended... I can't help it, but I'm going to tell a story. <laughs> it happened like this. <laughs> Wednesday. <laughs> you almost got coffee. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Wednesday. I was working, and I, I had a lot of things to do in a short amount of time to do them, and I was in a hurry. Right. Well, I had a nature call in the middle of the afternoon. Now, y'all know what that is. I don't have to get explicit yes, with that. Yes, yes. And so you, you, I went back and you take care of business. Yeah. Well, when you get done with business, you got to put everything back together. You know, <laughs> yeah, you get your drawers up and everything tied together and all that stuff. Yeah. Well, something happened that ain't ever happened before. And that was, you know how on your, on your shirt, how it, the one coattail overlaps the other one? Yeah. You know where you got a button? Yeah. Button up shirt. Well, at the at the bottom of your coattail where it overlapped, I I don't know how I did this, <laughs> but when I zipped up, both sides of my shirt got tied into my zipper. Whoa! And I tried to go up higher and I couldn't go, and I tried to unzip, I couldn't unzip. Well, I was already late for an appointment, so I just tucked in everywhere I could. <laughs> And buttoned the front of my coat and took off and waited till I was going to be home eventually. Yes. So I got home and I decided I'll get this. Well, here's the problem. Now, if you've ever had this happen to you, mm-hmm. if you can't get your pants down <laughs> and you can't take your shirt off, yeah, you're in a mess. <laughs> I like- couldn't go nowhere. So I'm at home. You're like a big sausage in a case. In That's there, right. So called Secretary of the War Department, who was in there putting her face on, mm-hmm. and I said, honey, I need <laughs> some help. And she looked at me, what's the matter? I said, I'm hung, <laughs> and I got to go. <laughs> <laughs> Things to see and people to do. Uh, yeah. yeah. And and she looked, she says, well, come here and let me help you with that. And she couldn't. So here's your picture. You got your zipper zipper hung up (laughs) in your shirt. shirt. You can't unbutton your shirt and slip it off, so you can't you 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 can't get undressed. Period. Yeah, I'm just there. You're there. So she says, "Where's that pair of pliers you got around the house?" And I says, "Well, they're in my truck." She says, "Well, go get them, and I'll help you out." (laughs) So here we are. She's down on one knee with a pair of pliers, Mm -hmm. and. We're trying to get things untangled. Right. It wasn't happening. So we got a knife involved. Uh-oh. And a pair of pliers. And while I'm, she's pulling and I'm tugging and we're nipping, <laughs> I end up dissecting my shirt <laughs> and pulling it out of my zipper thread at a time. Whoa. And finally got undone. That's- I still don't know how that happened. But I'm telling you, folks, if it happened to me, it could happen to you. Yeah. So have a pair of pliers in your tube block. a pair of pliers <laughs> and a Secretary of War handy. That, that, yeah. yeah, or anybody or yeah. a friend or, yeah. any, you know. Teach your dog how to use pliers. 
<laughs> he don't have a thumb. That's right. That's but anyway. right. Well, now, I've never, but I've, that never I've never seen it. You know, I mean, everybody's caught their shirt tail. See, that's one of the reasons that I very rarely wear button-up shirts, just in case that were to ever happen. Hmm. I wear, you know, like golf shirts most yeah. of the time. Well, and they, you, know. They, you know, they're one well, piece at the bottom. So. I yeah. just hadn't figured out how I jumped that hem at the bottom of my coattail and no. get it in in my zipper. But One side I can understand, but both sides at the same time. It, it was. I mean, that's that's precise now. I mean, you you know. Yeah, it, it, you'd think that was you planned. Had, you had to aim that. <laughs> well, obviously I did, but uh, anyway, that's what happened. You should have called Stormy. I bet Stormy had some pliers. I've seen his pliers and his tin snips, and I wouldn't let him near me. <laughs> <laughs> He can work on my windows, but leave my clothes alone. That's right. right. Okay. I, I, I let him take care of my siding and my gutters and my windows, and and uh, that'll be doing it. And since we're talking about it, we might yeah. as well talk about it. Yeah. Well, you know, Stormy, uh, everybody says, well, in fact, I had a phone call one day, uh, and they said, uh, what is what is Stormy's real name? I said, I don't know. <laughs> I've known him for a long, long time, and Stormy's all I've ever known. And when I call and ask for Stormy, he answers the phone. What else do I need to know? Well, I do know his name, but, but you, I, you're I, I, can't, that? I can't tell it. Okay. He might. He's afraid somebody will call, it, call him by that <laughs> name. I don't know why. It's not yeah. a bad name. Yeah. It's just like somebody asked me what my middle name is, yeah. and it's Horace. Yeah. Well, that's okay. That's what my, dad, my granddaddy's name was. Yeah. But some people think that's just an awful name. Well, apparently he thinks that his name's an awful name. I yeah. guess. I'm just speculating. I don't know. It's really not one of those conversations you get into while you're dealing with replacement windows on your house. This is true. <laughs> and, and, and it works for his business. You know, he also, back in the day when storm windows were a popular thing, he did storm windows. So stormy makes sense. That's right. It, yeah. it does. Yeah. And, and uh, the real stormy makes sense, too, when he comes out to do work at your house. Yeah, and he'll save you a few cents too. Yes, he will. He, yes, uh, he, will. he, he uh, you know, I, and and I, you know, here we are on radio, and people think we're doing a commercial, but this is real life, folks. I mean, I, Stormy's on one of my jobs just about every day of the week. Yeah. I mean, uh, he's just one of our regulars, and you call him up and you get him done, and and he'll take care of, of stuff at your house too, and and uh, he he puts up a great set of gutters, and he puts these. Uh, real nice gutter guards on them, mm-hmm. like we've been talking about on the show. Yep. And uh, replacement windows. Now, I'm going to tell you a story about another company. I won't say their name. Okay. But I had a little chance to go to a courtroom this week uh-huh. because another window company, and it wasn't in this town, so everybody don't, don't yeah, draw don't, up now. Don't, I panic. Think I'm gonna, don't panic. Don't panic. But they put in replacement windows in a house. And the house, all the windows were leaking. Ugh. And they were molding under the windows. And it didn't take long to figure out why. When I went up there and looked at it, I found out them dummies set the windows flat in the opening and didn't put a seal on the outside of the, o- of the windows to where the water would run off. They made it flat. Water was actually running into the wall of the window. Well, when they realized the nature of their sins by way of photograph in front of the judge, <laughs> it didn't take long for no. the gavel to slap. That's true. And they had a little adjud- uh, judgment against them, mm-hmm. to which they promptly went outside and wrote uh, counsel a check. Really? Yes. Wow. Did not want the bad publicity yeah. from their nationally known company. Uh-huh. So, anyway, uh, Stormy knows how to put them in right. They know how to trim them out. They understand the pref- presence of water running downhill yeah <laughs> and they'll lap the metal properly to where it, it will, it, run, it down will run down and, and away goes, from your bedroom or exactly whatever. exactly yep. but uh that, that that happened but anyway they do a great job and we're glad to have them as a sponsor and uh anytime you need something around your house give economy siding and gutter a call yep 422-3828 or catch them online at economy siding.com 
And we're going to take a quick uh, minute and a half, two-minute commercial break, and we will continue on this Saturday's edition of Tricks of the Trade with John Allen. Stay with us. I don't feel like I'm 23 anymore. Lack of energy during the day, difficulty sleeping, reduced mental focus and memory, weight gain, including belly fats, reduced sexual desire, and performance. Studies show after the age of 30, most people produce 3 to 10% less hormones each year, and I felt it. I decided to do something about it, but I didn't want 152 shots of synthetic testosterone per year. What I discovered is changing my life. All testosterone replacement is not the same. Hormone pellets contain the same chemical structure as your body's natural hormones. They're placed under the skin and released bioidentical testosterone consistently to the bloodstream and last up to six months. Same thing with estrogen for females. I feel great. I don't want youth wasted on the young. I want it wasted on me. Feeling better for you can start with a simple phone call. Dr. Shannon Bone at Advance Rehab and Medical. It's 731-503-4277. It's 503-4277. Call today. 731-503-4277. You'll be glad you did. Hi, I'm Rodney Dean. And I'm Geraldine. For a long time, we've been telling you about Dave's Automotive Service. But here's some things you may not know. Dave's is the oldest and most experienced shop in the county. He has great prices on oil changes. Dave also does tune-ups, brake repair, and engine repair. And he has the most updated diagnostic equipment for vehicle repair. Like when that service engine soon light comes on, he can check it out in a flash. So if your ride's on the blink and needs some TLC, don't grab a hammer. Just grab the phone and dial 696 4351 and set up an appointment today. Dave's Automotive, located on Highway 88 between Alamo and Murray City at the 412 intersection. Dave knows autos. Oh, by the way, I never found my hammer, did you? Uh, yeah, but I gave it away. Why? Well, if you keep working on things with it soon, we won't have anything left. You never let me do nothing. Hello, Jackson and West Tennessee. This is John Allen, host of Tricks of the Trade. Join me every Saturday morning at 8 a.m. We'll talk about all types of home improvement projects, solve a few problems, tell a few tales. Been in business for a long time and look forward to helping you with your home. The phone lines and the text lines will be open every Saturday morning at 8 o'clock for Tricks of the Trade. Join John Allen for Tricks of the Trade every Saturday morning at 8, only on 93.1 News Talk Radio and NewsTalkWTN.com. Caution, listening to this radio station may make you hungry. Good thing we're broadcasting from the Dixie Cafe, WTJS 93.1 FM for West Tennessee. Yes, indeed. This is Tricks of the Trade on this Saturday morning in West Tennessee. John Allen is here, ready for your phone call at 731-891-6161 or text us at 731-410-7560, the Victory Honda text line. Now, you're about to, you're about to dabble in some uh, paint information here, but quickly, a, uh, a texter says, about 55 years ago, my older brother had to have a doctor unzip his accoutrement. Uh-oh. <laughs> And he finished that with, ouch. <laughs> <laughs> I think you're understating that, that a bit. That, uh, that hurt just thinking about it. <laughs> oh, don't it. That's a 10 on the pucker scale right there. Oh. You <laughs> All right. Uh, now, what uh, you talk, You asked me about some kind of PVC, TBS. Uh, VOC. VOC. Yeah. What is uh, VOC? Okay. okay here, here's what we got. Now, this is how we're going to simplify things here today. Because a lot of people are going to get into this this time of year yeah. after Christmas. Okay. You know, I tell folks when they're going to paint inside, mm-hmm. especially if they got paneling, to paint in the winter. Yeah. Because that's when your house is all drawn up. Right. And it'll expose all your cracks to where you can get your paint down in your grooves like you're supposed to. Yeah. Well, now, if you listen now to all the gurus of paint... And I say that tongue-in-cheek because they ain't too bright in my book. <laughs> but if you were to go to a real-life paint store, yeah, they would know what this term is. But if you went other places that don't specialize in paint, uh-huh. you could have a lot of fun with what I'm fixing to tell you. Okay, shoot. So here it is. Now, your house is all drawn up. And right. you want to paint it, pull it, pin feather purple, or whatever color you want to you, you want to make it. You got it. And you go to get your paint. And you want a good paint. Now, you want to paint, and if you've listened, I've told you this before, you want to paint with a high hide factor. So you don't have to paint it so many coats. Yeah. You know, you can make 
most people think because the paint's thick, it's better. Well, that's only because they filled it full of dippity doo. <laughs> if you know what dippity doo well, is, do. if you lived back in the 60s I and do. 70s. Yes. But anyway, uh, you want to paint with a good hide factor. Well, now, because everything has gotten so high tech, you are supposed to ask for a paint that has a low VOC. Okay, and that would now be the what? first question is what in the world is a VOC? Yep. Well, the VOC is a volatile organic compound. You got yeah, that? And now you now you got me even more confused. Now, now what I'm leading up to, and, and this is just pure nonsense, but yeah. it's true. People are selling things based on this. Okay, it's it's a way to record the stink factor. Ah, it doesn't smell. Yeah, I got See, you. they put they put man-made and natural things in paint. Right. And it makes it stink. Yeah. And here you are working in a closed-up, drawed-up house, and, you know, you can get a pretty good buzz if, if your <laughs> VOC is high, or it's even worse if you're putting on laminates and you're using glue. But in the in the painting world, you don't want to have to open your windows when it's 20 degrees outside to get things ventilated. Right. You, you can now buy a paint that has a low VOC rating. Okay. Well, that is, is that either either latex or oil-based? or Yeah, but nobody uses oil anymore they don't. unless they have to. Okay. And that's because if you had oil on there originally. Huh. Yeah. And, you know. So, so if you go into a store... Now, I don't know why you would go into a store that don't specialize in paint if you want paint. I mean, it just... Oh, it happens. I know. Every yeah, day. You get paint in the grocery day. store. I know. But if you you start throwing around VOCs at him, you'll be liable to get a, huh? They they will have to call for the stock boy because <laughs> they don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> but, oh. but, yeah, get you one with a low VOC. Right. And all that means is you want one that doesn't stink so bad. Well, my, and, yeah, that that makes sense. I yeah. mean, yeah, yeah. Actually, they they did something that makes sense. Now, you know, I don't I don't know why they did that. Why don't they just put on the can? It don't stink as much right. as the other brands. It, it don't smell bad. Yeah, it doesn't smell bad. Uh, texter over here says, speaking of paint, Mister Allen, I'm considering painting the exterior of my home. It's a brick home, approximately 25 years old, vinyl siding, et cetera, et cetera. Number one, is that a good idea? And number two, how much will it cost me? Well, I can answer part of that question. So yeah. I'm assuming he's painting his brick. I would think so. That's what it sounded okay. like, yeah. All right. Several things you got to do and steps you got to take, but there's nothing wrong with what you're wanting to do. Right. You got to clean that brick real good. Surface preparation is key. Uh, get all the grit and grime and dirt and mold and mildew and everything off of it. Right. Then you want to go and uh, get you a bonding masonry primer. Okay. And uh, fill all your holes. And, uh, you know, you might need to use a little caulking in order to take care of maybe where you got a little bit of mortar out. Right. But fill your cracks that might, if you got a few in your brick. And then you want to use a masonry emulsion paint. That's a paint that is made to bond to masonry. Okay. You don't want to just get plain old house paint. But you want to get a masonry emulsion paint. Right. Now, there are other options to painting that you might want to, to do if you're thinking of painting a brick home. Because once you start painting it, you're going to always have to paint it. Right. And you're going to have to keep it clean. If it's done right, how long will a painted brick surface serve you? Oh, you'll get a good seven, eight years out of it easy okay. before it starts fading. Right. You just want to get it properly prepped and sealed because if you don't seal it and moisture still gets into that brick it'll pop the paint off right and then you'll be painting again and it starts scaling and you've got a never-ending thing so you know preparation is key and then put you a good paint don't go for the most the cheapest paint yeah get a good quality paint made for painting masonry or yeah now this is becoming pretty popular there's a term that's used years and years and years ago called slurry. 
thought that's where you were going. Yeah, I've heard of that too. I've done a few commercial buildings in slurry, mm-hmm. and that's where you take a colored, after you prep your surface, Yeah, you take a, and the way I do it, now you won't find this in a book because it doesn't cost enough to, <laughs> to, to, for them to print this. But right. You can buy a bunch of tools and special devices to apply your slurry. Yeah. Or you can do what I do and just get a, an old piece of rug and cut a, a piece up about uh, uh, 18 inches square. But slurry is basically colored mortar mix real thin to where you're going to brush it on or wipe it on to a masonry service. Okay. I use a rug, and you just dip the rug like it is an old rag down in there, and you start going over the uh, the 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 brick, and you go in. Uh, you can go in every which way direction. You don't have to go in one direction. Just wipe it and smear it on, and keep on going. Sometimes it takes two coats to do it, but it will uh, give you a good exterior texture, and make it look different. Make it look kind of old, and uh, and then there's another one. You you ever heard of uh, it? Let me get this right. Okay. I hadn't used this term in a long time. Skintling. 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 S-K-L-I-N-T-I-N-G. No. Okay. Skintling is a method of doing brick veneer that looks like you made a mess intentionally. That's where you you you, you stack your bricks irregularly. Uh-huh. And let the mortar ooze out the sides. I've seen There's that. a house like this on Wallace Road here in Jackson. That it, you look at it and you say, what idiot laid that brick? <laughs> but it was meant to look like that. Yeah. And he, 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 he did the skintling method. And I may be, there's people uh, pronounce that different ways. Yeah. But, but it, that's where you just kind of stack your brick irregularly. And it looks like you're just filling up a hole. Yeah, but it's they they're up and down and irregular yeah. and in and out, and then you let the mortar ooze out of it. But yeah. that's another way of doing it. You know, I've seen some, especially on older houses, where they they will uh, on a brick house, they will put kind of a uh, like a skim coat of of mortar or whatever uh, over it, and then they'll leave holes where you can actually see the brick through it, and it looks like the whole thing was plastered at one time and some of the plastering has fallen off, mm-hmm. but it's actually done that way on purpose. Oh yeah. Yeah. Yep. It is interesting. It, it's funny how they, they want new stuff to look old. Yeah, I know. I That's know. the trend. The trend. Yes. It has to have patina. Oh, don't even get me started on patina. <laughs> I, I ruined a good pair of jeans. Patina. In, patina. Patina. In patina. One day. <laughs> You got patinying and skittling ding dinging in the same show. We'll get tutus out of this before it's over with. Now, obviously, if uh, going back to the texture, he, if he's going to paint the brick on his house, that, that's a pretty big job. It is a brick and job. And obviously, you're not going to do that with a two-and-a-half-inch brush. How, what, do, no. you, do you spray it? Is that the way most of them are done? Well, uh, roll it's what roll most it. people do. Oh, really? Do. Okay. Yeah, you'll get a thick nap roller. Yeah. Thick nap meaning... It's it's about three yeah. quarters to an inch yeah. thick, it looks and like you'll a poodle. dip it and roll it, yeah. yeah, and just roll it on there, and it uh, it works out pretty good because you got to make sure when you're rolling it gets down in your mortar joints, yeah, and, and all the cracks and gets, crevices in your brick. Yeah, there you go. Do, this is not from the texture question. This is my question as an add-on to you that. You got to call in. Yes, uh, yes we do. Yes we do, <laughs> and we got a text at the same time. Let me let me get the caller on the air. Texture, hang on. We'll get to you here in just one minute. Uh, Da, da, da. Come on. Okay, John, go ahead. Good morning and welcome to Tricks of the Trade. Look right. out. Hey. Hello, can you hear me? I can hear you. You well, there? Uh, I've got a question for you. All right. My garage door, uh, when it's cold, when it gets down in the 20s and it comes down, when it hits the bottom, it goes right back up. It won't stay cold. What can I do about that? You need to adjust the sensitivity up on your motor, or you may want to check the eyes uh, on each side of your door to make sure that they're pointing to one another. If they're a little out of line, it'll it'll automatically go up. 
Or there's a third reason. There's a third reason. And that is if that bulb, that gasket on the bottom of your door is real stiff and it's not matching up with your sensitivity uh, uh, adjustment, when that door goes down and that little rubber bulb on the bottom won't compress like it will in the summertime, that that opener will think there's something under your door and it'll automatically go back up. That's a safety device. Hmm. But uh, if you'll adjust that sensitivity a little bit, uh, you'll be able to get that corrected. Now, what is this sensitivity you talking about? That probably only mechanism up on the top there yes sir there's there's two settings up there one and and the one that says sensitivity is the one you want to want to adjust a little bit and back it off and you had and you don't turn it much just a little bit about a quarter of a turn and then hit your button and then uh, uh, try it a couple of times till you get it just right it don't, it don't do that until it gets down below freezing. Other than that, it works just fine. Well, when it, when it gets down real cold, it that's, just comes down and goes right back up. Well, that's because that that rubber bulb I'm telling you about won't compress because it's stiff or it's cold. So if you'll back off on that sensitivity a little bit, it'll it'll keep it from coming back up. Uh, what is that, what is that uh, button you're talking about? It's on the bottom of the door? No, it's on the back of the garage door opener up on the ceiling. Oh, oh okay. I got, okay, I got you. Now, well, I'll give it if, shot, okay. if you have a little trouble with it, yeah, if you continue to have a little trouble with that, call who I call to work on my garage doors, and that's uh, uh, Jeff. I just went blank. Yeah, yeah. Douglas. Douglas, that's it. Jeff yes, Douglas. Yes. Um, he's an excellent garage door guy, and he can come out there and very quickly get that adjusted for you. And uh, if you'll call me the first of the week at my office, I'll give you his, his direct phone number to get right straight to him. Well, I'll sure do that, and I appreciate it. I'll uh, give it a shot. If it don't work, I'm calling somebody. All right, well, give that a shot. Yeah, you, yeah. You, well, I right. appreciate you calling in. You have a Merry Christmas. Yes, sir. You too. Thank you so much. Uh-huh. Thank you. Thank you, caller. That's the way it's done. It's 731-891-6161. And uh, we had, let's see. Let me get this text over here. It said, John, what about whitewashing the brick? Yeah, that's good. Is that it, similar to the slurry? No. No. Uh, the slurry won't wipe off. The okay. whitewashing is lime and water. And it'll feel chalky a little mm -hmm. bit, but it's real good uh, about staining your brick, and it'll give it kind of a variated finish. Yeah. And whitewashing is like the old story with Huckleberry Finn. You know, yeah. you just yeah. it's water and lime, and you put it on with a four knot brush, and that's a big wide brush okay. that's about eight ten inches wide. It's got four knots of hair in it. Okay. And uh, you'll get your five-gallon bucket, mix it up, and, and wipe it on. It does a real good job, too. Good deal. Okay, another text. Mr. Allen, I helped paint a rich man's house years ago. Ooh. The paint was shy of $100 a gallon. One brush load could be spread out, uh, spread out on the surface and take you forever. It was thick, 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 and was gorgeous. A gallon covered many square feet. Any name for paint come to mind? Special Six. order, top pay customers. That was a Teflon paint, probably. Hmm. And it is quite pricey, and it's very good paint, and it uh, has a real high hide factor. It covers well. Uh, sometimes, if it's a little cool, you have to thin it down just a little bit. Uh, so follow the instructions on that. But if you'll go to any of the major paint stores here, whether it be Sherwin-Williams, Porter Paint, Pittsburgh, uh, they will. They sometimes have some of that in stock, and they can mix the color you want and uh, help you with the application technique and sell you whatever type of tools you need to put it on. Okay, Teflon paint. Okay. Yeah, it's Teflon. It's got Teflon in it. All right, so it makes it, it slick. Yeah, it makes it slick. It's yeah. uh, used a lot uh, inside because it's totally washable, and uh, it <laughs> you can get it in a 
in a flat finish and a semi-gloss and a high gloss and an yep. eggshell and mm-hmm. all that good stuff. Oh, yeah, absolutely. One quick follow-up on the gentleman who was uh, uh, painting his brick. Yeah. It's the, does the type of brick matter? I'm thinking maybe he's saying, you know, some brick has a little bit of a slick finish. Some's more porous than others. Not really. Not really. Okay. No, as long as you uh, prep you, it right. As long as you prep it right and get it clean, it'll it'll stick. There but you uh, just you make sure you use paint made for masonry applications. All right, we can do that. We're and it's dry when you put it on there too. Yeah, make sure Brick, that bricks got to be dry. Yeah. Okay. We're gonna take another quick commercial break and come back and talk about one of our great sponsors, West Ten Fence Company. Right after this, this is Tricks of the Trade. It is eight thirty nine. This is an important announcement. If you're between 50 and 85 and worried about your loved ones, you can still get affordable life insurance for peace of mind. My life insurance coverage is guaranteed, and I was not required to get a medical exam. I had high blood pressure and diabetes, and I got my coverage with one telephone call. No exam necessary. I'm a smoker, and I wanted to take care of my family. I called to get my life insurance and my affairs in order. I wanted to do the right thing. Call Final Expense No Exam Insurance. Your rates are guaranteed and will never increase. I called and learned that this insurance cannot be canceled, even if you get sick or gain weight. And there are no restrictions on how my beneficiaries use the money when I'm gone. Don't wait until it's too late. Call now and get peace of mind for you and your family. Call 800-450-7731. 800-450-7731. 800-450-7731. 800-450-7731. Hello, Jackson and West Tennessee. This is John Allen, host of Tricks of the Trade. Join me every Saturday morning at 8 a.m. We'll talk about all types of home improvement projects, solve a few problems, tell a few tales. Been in business for a long time and look forward to helping you with your home. The phone lines and the text lines will be open every Saturday morning at 8 o'clock for Tricks of the Trade. Join John Allen for Tricks of the Trade every Saturday morning at 8, only on 93.1 News Talk Radio and News Talk WTN.com. Here at Jackson Off-Road, we are a complete automotive service center that does work on area business fleets, servicing and repairing both diesel and gas engines. Our experienced technicians and advanced technology will upgrade your company's vehicle's performance, saving you significant dollars. Graham Snack Food said, Jackson Off-Road keeps our fleet of vehicles on the road in a timely manner, regardless of what repairs are required or what time of the day or night we call for service or repair. Jackson Off-Road, online, and on the 45 Bypass. Indeed, this is Tricks of the Trade on this Saturday morning. We're glad to have you along. 410 is the Victory Honda text line. 731-891-6161 is the call-in line direct to John Allen, who is right there. West End Fence Company, one of our great sponsors. You use them often. They've done work for me. They do, and at this time of the year, if you got a problem keeping your reindeer in, they're mm-hmm. the people to call. Yep. And if your neighbor's got reindeer and you want to keep them out, that same fence will do the same thing. Two for one Two deal. For one. That beats all i ever seen. What a bargain. <laughs> what a deal. Such a deal I got for you. <laughs> yeah, oh, they're, they're good folks to call. West End Fence Company, they, uh, they are experts in their field, and uh, they'll put up any kind of fence you want. And we've talked about that. They put up chain link for me in various colors. They put up wood fences. They put up wrought iron fences. Mm-hmm. They put up barbed wire fences. Yep. They put up split rail fences. They, right. Any kind of fence you want to put up, yeah, they can do it. And they even put up with customers that ask stupid questions. I know I was one. That's right. <laughs> well, that's okay. Yeah. You was just testing them. I was testing them, yeah. I tell yeah. you what, you know, they, they had a, I, the, one of the problems we had at my house, and you're familiar with it because you worked on it yourself, mm-hmm. is that uh, between my house and my, my neighbor's house, we get a little when the wind's blowing hard we get a little twirly wind going through there yeah. and it was constantly blowing my gate open and and you know tearing it up hasn't happened since west End rebuilt that that gate and rebuilt that part of that fence so mm. you know they uh, they did it a little bit different and it was economically feasible so i said let's do it and it's working well they're good i, I recommend anybody that needs a fence to give them a call they yeah. uh they're just good and easy to deal with, and, and everything's priced right. And when it's done, you don't have to worry about it no more. That's right. So, if, you, if your old fence has got a hole in it where you run your hose through, they'll put it back. They will do that. <laughs> they will. All right. Well, we're glad to have them as sponsors. Yes, we are. Yes, we are. Absolutely. All right. 
I hadn't had anybody uh, tell me what they want for Christmas this morning. That's they, true. They we, hadn't texted in. I've been waiting to hear that. Yeah, then, we need we need you we need you your punch card, your punch list. Yeah, and you know, and, and and just as a little safety reminder, uh, if you got a live tree, keep it watered. Yeah, and uh, you don't want those little needles all dry and falling on the floor, especially if you got lights on your tree. Uh-huh. And uh, that was my daddy's biggest fear. Oh, mine fire. too. Mine too. He drilled that into the to us too. We didn't know? leave the room with the lights on. Even it yeah. was it was yeah. one of them things. So keep water in your tree, and uh, if if it's already dead <laughs> because you didn't, yeah. just leave the lights off. Yeah. You open yeah. a window, do something, let the sunshine That's right. In. Put some popcorn on it and make it yeah, look nice. You can all do that again. or put yeah. them little icicly things. And yep. if you got a rainbow vacuum cleaner, it works like a champ to <laughs> blow them up there in wads. So. Oh, man. Yes, absolutely. Rainbow vacuum cleaner. I hadn't thought of those in years until you told that story a few weeks ago. Yeah. Yeah. A friend, friend, friend of mine bought one back in the 60s, 70s, I guess. We had both just gotten married and. And they called us, you know, he said, yeah, and y'all need to come over to the apartment. You know, we'll do dinner tonight. He said, I got, I got to show you something. He was so proud of that, that rainbow vacuum. I mean, he cleaned everything in the house for us. It's, uh, <laughs> I, I don't know what it is, it, and it may not even do it anymore, but it just seems like back in the day when you got married, yeah, within a couple of weeks, a vacuum cleaner salesman would show up on your doorstep. It appeared from nowhere. Yeah, yeah, whether it be a rainbow or a Kirby. Ours See, we, was we Electrolux. We grew up with a Kirby. I was Electrolux. Oh, you was, did you own them canisters? Oh, yeah. yeah look, the, the one scooted looked, on the floor. The one that looked like a tube. Yeah. That, uh-huh. I like those. They yeah. look like little missiles. <laughs> they kept trying to ride them. And I tell you what, they'd suck the chrome off a trailer hitch, too. Man. They, they, were, do it. they were good. Yeah. Uh-oh. Oops. Text here. Dear Santa, look uh-huh. here. Look here. Let's see what we got. <laughs> Dear Santa, and there's a picture of a of a sports car on there. Uh, uh, you gonna have a little trouble. Santa gonna have a little trouble getting that in his bag. But hey, you know, with the right connections, that could happen. It looks like uh, maybe uh, it's hard for me to tell. It's either a BMW or a, or a uh, maybe a Mazda. I'm not sure. Mazda Miata type mm. of thing. Yeah, nice looking car. I'll well, take now one of the those uh, too. the question is. If that's what you're truly wanting, yeah, have you been a good boy or a bad boy? Hmm, that that does enter into it, does it not? That, that enters in. Or, uh, that's right into the factor right there because you know if all things are possible, yeah, and and you've been really good and deserving, you might get one. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, and you, you know, you've you you struck a nerve. The, the the text line is 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 jumping. Uh oh, let's go. All that most of Jackson wants for Christmas is for y'all to bring back radio classifieds. Yeah, I heard you talking to the, to Brad McCoy about that or George B. One. If y'all really want to be nice, bring it back uh, for at least two hours this time. Okay, Texter, we'll pass that along to the powers that be. We just push the knobs and make the noise, and uh, they tell us what to do. So mm. there are some changes coming, both to 93.1 and 101.5 after uh, the first of the year. And I think you're going to like what you're, you're hearing. And I don't know, but that could very well be part of the mix. We'll find out for sure. It could happen. Thanks for the suggestion. I uh, hope Santa can help with uh, mailbox stocking stuffer. No paint needed. <laughs> okay. You need, a, you need a mailbox for your stocking or a stocking for your mailbox. Hope Santa well, you can help with. stocking on your mailbox? I don't know. Help goes Santa on your can help with mailbox stocking stuffer. Okay. There you go. Dear Santa, I want some new knees. <laughs> I want a new back. Maybe we can work a package deal here. Uh, <laughs> oh, let's go for it all. What about a new body? Now you're talking. Now you're talking. Ah, uh, technology. Yes, absolutely. I uh, I have two two uh, titanium knees, and uh, they, they do quite well. It's the rest of the stuff around my knees is falling apart. This time next year, I may have two new ones. Oh, yeah, yeah. I'll it's it's kind of hard to get up and down, I'm telling you. Yeah, it's amazing what they can do now. And not in every situation, but I, there are situations now, I guess if you're young and healthy and everything is in place except for your knees knee replacing, they can actually do a full knee replacement as an outpatient in some cases nowadays. Me, I think I was in the hospital with my first one for like three days. Yeah. And then laid up in the bed with that little 
perpetual motion machine kept keep my knee moving mm-hmm. when I got home. So that little device you had though that shot that ice water around your knee. Oh boy, that's a good oh, thing. Oh, I like that. That is a good thing. I like that whether my knee hurts or not. I know. <laughs> I know, yeah, that uh, that was a good thing. And they they use one in, in physical therapy. It's called a Game Ready. That was the name of the product. Uh-huh. And they wrap that sucker around your knee or your elbow or your shoulder or whatever, and it not only pumps cold water through there, but it compresses at the same time. It and does. I look forward to that. They could hurt me all they wanted to as long as I knew I was going to get that at the end at of it. At the end. That was the yeah. prize, I'm yes, telling you. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Good stuff. Good stuff. Well, a couple of little things I want to get into before we're over with, because, okay. you know, here it is, Christmas is next week, and you're going to have a lot of people over to the house. Yep. And, uh, you know, we, we talk about this. This is, this is one of these things I talk about a lot. I can't help it, but people still don't listen. <laughs> and that is, you're going to have all this food over to the house, and you're going to overwork in your kitchen. Uh, when you get things stopped up, and it'll happen, it happens yep. to all of us, but lay off of the over-the-counter drain cleaners because not that they're bad. It's just that y'all don't read the instructions. Yeah. They, some people think, and mess, mostly us guys, if a little dab is good, more is better. Exactly. So what happens is you pour all that mess down in there, and it uh, eventually will loosen things up and slide down about three feet down the pipe and get hard again and make a bigger clock. So be careful with the uh, the uh, over-the-counter drain cleaners and just keep your lines flushed out and use a lot of water if you're using your garbage disposal. Right. And then about mid-January when your garbage disposal gets to really stinking because you didn't <laughs> do it, you know, throw some of that old Christmas fruit in there, mm-hmm. you know, a lemon or an orange or yeah. what, anything you want to put in there, and it'll make it smell a whole lot better with a box of baking soda. Yeah, when you're dumping out everybody's unused iced tea, just put that ice down in there and let that crunch around for a yeah, little while. That, that, yeah, that disposal will dance a jig right there in your sink, but it, it gets all the nasty food particles away. True. And one more thing. Everybody likes that little ambiance around the house of a nice fire if you've got a fireplace going on. Yeah. Maybe uh, Mama even lights the fire up if she's wanting something special for Christmas and mm-hmm. you're not in the mood and she's going to convince you. Y'all know what I'm talking about. I do. <laughs> All right. So, and maybe you hadn't had a fire in the house in a year. Yeah. You be careful now. Start out with a small fire and then kind of build up because... If a squirrel or a coon or even a lazy possum has got down in your chimney yeah. and he's uh, been there yeah, and he can't get out, there's going to be a barbecue whether you want it or not. This is true. And it's going to stink a little bit. Yep. And it could be dangerous. Or if you've got a lot of creosote buildup because you've had things choked down, maybe you got a wood stove or something like that, you got a big creosote buildup. And uh, you fired up a big old roaring fire, and the inside of that chimney uh, catches on fire. Right. You're going to uh, go outside and look up where Santa comes down and see flames shooting out of the top of that, and it'll look like a rocket's taken off. Yep. And we don't want any trips from the fire trucks this time of year. No, we don't, for your trees or your chimneys. That's right. And keep yep. batteries in your smoke detectors. Right. I used to say, and I'm dating myself now, don't be taking them batteries out and putting them in your boom box. <laughs> Y'all do know what boom I boxes do are, what don't what you? <laughs> so, you know, leave the batteries in the smoke detectors yeah. and just keep everybody safe. Yeah, one of my shoulders is actually lower than the other one from all those years of walking around one of them things on my shoulder. <laughs> <laughs> It's like wow! Everybody just everybody had them back in the, yeah. was the seventies. Is this? I think so. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, them yeah they, they, they fit right up on the corner of your polyester suit, real nice. That's right. <laughs> the, the thing of it is, you'd be sitting with one of those on your shoulder, uh-huh. and you know they came out. They 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 improved the boom boxes where the speakers became detachable. Oh yeah. And you'd bend over to pick something up, and your speakers <laughs> fall off <laughs> on one side. <laughs> Oh, Lord. And you're dragging your speaker by the cord. That's, That's no true. fun. But you were know. cool there for a minute. But you were cool for a minute yep. with your take, polyester suit. We're going to take one, one more final commercial break today here from the folks that make this possible. And we'll be back to wrap it up with John Allen. Stay with us.
Hi, this is Shannon Nordstrom. And I'm Russ Evans. Join us weekly for the Nordstrom's Under the Hood show with the Motor Medics. Listen in as we answer questions and give free automotive advice. From general car care like brakes, shocks, and preventative maintenance to the big stuff like engine replacements and computerized systems. You should listen to the Nordstrom's Under the Hood show with the Motor Medics each week right here. Under the Hood every Saturday morning from 6 till 8. Presented by Gene Langley Ford and Humboldt, the dealership service bill. XMC, known for excellence in office solutions, prides itself on delivering high-quality products and services with a uniquely personal approach. XMC provides sales, leasing, service, and supplies and is an authorized sales agent of Xerox. Xerox offers innovative document solutions, including printers, digital presses, multifunction devices, and digital copiers. Visit XMCINC.com today and learn how Xerox and XMC is expanding its portfolio to help boost worker productivity, enhance collaboration, and reduce costs. Sakura set the standard in West Tennessee for Japanese sushi rolls and hibachi grill dishes. By popular demand, Sakura added a Chinese menu. For starters, egg drop and hot and sour soup. Entrees include chicken broccoli, sweet and sour chicken, Mongolian beef, and lo mein with your choice of meat. Our Chinese lunch menu starts at just $7.95. Sakura also delivers to your home or business, or you can call ahead for pickup at 664-2878. Sakura's dining area now open and serving at 50% capacity. Sakura on Carriage House Drive. Saturday morning with Tricks of the Trade and John Allen. We have about four and a half minutes left in the episode today, and we do need to take this time to remind everyone, number one, Jimmy Leach and the investigator coming up next after we get done. And uh, remind everybody that uh, next weekend will be Christmas weekend, and the following weekend will be New Year's weekend. And uh, we will, uh, the on-air staff will not be working uh, on those days. So we're going to be gone for two weeks, which means you got a lot of questions you can store up for us when we get back. Uh, and uh, John will have a lot more knowledge in his head by then because he's going to get all those after Christmas calls. Well, the only good thing about that is we won't be in this year anymore. That's true. And I'm, I'm ready to boot this one. And get rid of 2020. You better believe it. And uh, maybe something will start getting better. Maybe these vaccines will get out. Hope and, so. Uh, Hope and so. people will start taking them. Yeah, there's a few crazy people out there that says, I'm not taking that thing until it's proven. Yeah. See you in the graveyard. You know. Yeah, I, you know, I don't understand that either. I think it's just that, that macho thing. Well, I don't need this. I can do my own thing. I know what I'm doing. You know. And then the kind of people that will get you zipper stuck. <laughs> so you got <laughs> <laughs> you got to watch out for those folks, that's, I'm telling that's, you. Yeah, it's entirely possible. But, you know, I, I have made up my mind. I'm not going to watch any of the television. I'm not going to read any of the news when they start talking about side effects and stuff like that from the COVID. I have one one rule as far as taking the vaccine. When my doctor says it's safe, I'm having it. Yeah. You know? And then I could use a third arm. Who knows? That's true. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, one that glows in the dark, yeah. you know? <laughs> But no, it's uh, it'll it, it at some point in time it will be as normal as taking a flu shot, but yeah. right now it's politicized, and everybody's got their opinion, you know, and everybody has an opinion in something else, and sometimes neither one of them smell good. So, yeah. uh, you know, it is what it is. I'm not gonna tell you to do it or not do it. That's up to you. You you over 21, you're six foot tall. You make that decision. Mm, that's right. And don't rely on some talking head on CNN or Fox or wherever. Or either one of them. Yeah. Well, I'm going to say this. Yes. Merry Christmas. Indeed. And to every one of you out there listening, uh, we have a lot of fun up here. We and, do. Uh, we do. We cut up and carry on, but we get down to serious business every now and then. Yep. We really appreciate the phone calls and the texts. That's what makes everything so good up here. So I just hope each and every one of you have a prosperous uh, new year. And sooner or later, we'll all be out of this year, and we'll look back and hopefully laugh about what all's been going on and uh, all be better people for it. So y'all be safe, be careful, and uh, just have a happy new year. Find yeah. something good yeah. to think about. Absolutely. Make you smile. Enjoy, enjoy your Enjoy children. Christmas and remember what Christmas is all about. Once you get past the lights and the packages and the... And the, and the family and all that stuff. Remember, it is about the birth of Jesus Christ. And, and yep. without that, we'd all be lost. That's right. We have a chance with that to not be lost. You know, we, if, if he can get, let's see, what was that guy who wanted to kill all the babies? Uh, the, the, yep. the, I, I know, yeah. You know, well, if, if they can survive that, we can survive COVID. 
That's true. So that, you know, you're absolutely We're all right. good. And don't forget, as they used to say, uh, keep an eye on your local listings because there are going to be some changes at 93.1 and 101.5 after the first of the year. Lord, I hope so. The equipment is being installed and all the software that we all have to relearn hope is, that's is being chair done. Involved in and that. a chair or two or four would be yeah. nice. And, I just uh, want one. I don't yeah. want to be greedy. So watch your Facebook pages and, and your social media because it will be, uh, it'd be listed on there. And uh, uh, we'll still be here, and you'll be able to find us. And we're looking looking forward to uh, some uh, some new good uh, good day, better days maybe the, for Grace Broadcasting. We're proud to be a part of that group. Uh, not a lot of radio folks get Christmas and holidays and stuff off. We do because they know how important it is, and we appreciate that. That's right. I see you in about three weeks on the radio. I see a whole lot between now and then. Well, I hope so. So uh, y'all be safe and. We'll just say bye and Merry Christmas. Absolutely. Santa House is open today. If you're going to see Santa, you better get down there. That's right. Today, 11 to 2, downtown Jackson, uh, corner of Highland and Lafayette, Lafayette for you Northern Americans. <laughs> and uh, uh, tonight from 6 to 8, and it's the last day. If you don't get it in and tell me what kind of thing the jig you want to go with, you do hick you to take care of your watch them, I call it, yep. you won't get it. There you go. So, Get on down there. Merry Christmas, everybody.